No, Norman, not yet. Aww. Will we be there soon? Not long, Norman. How long? Soon, Norman. Oh dear, I'm running out of pants. I've got nothing to cook my spaghetti in. Don't worry, Elvis. We won't be here for much longer. Oh. It's still a little while before the new fire station's built. I just hope we have enough pans to last till then. It's no good, Fire Captain Steele. I've been tinkering with your flange joints all morning. And I'm afraid your pipes are just too old. And the roof needs replacing. And the floors are crooked. Oh, dear. Well, uh, I suppose we can struggle through for a few more weeks. No, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm not sure we can struggle through a few more hours. For safety purposes, we're going to have to shut your station down tonight. Tonight? Keep calm, firefighters. We've got a mobile command unit you can use while you're waiting for the new fire station to be built. Be ashamed to leave the old place, though. I wonder if there'll be any emergencies on our last night. Looks like there might be. Trevor Evans' bus is dangling over the edge of Pondy Pandy Cliff, and it's full of passengers? Trevor Evans' bus is dangling over the edge of Pondy Pandy Cliff, and it's full of passengers. Penny, Elvis, you take Venus. I'll go ahead on Mercury. Fireman Sam is on the way! Yeah! Well, I hope he gets here soon! Yeah. Elvis, follow me! Penny, I need you to stay at the wheel. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. Back her up, Penny! Hurry! She can't take the weight. Elvis, get ready to move the passengers clear. I want you all to move towards the door, very carefully. Oh. 
That's it! Keep coming! Stand clear, everyone! Don't worry, it'll be okay. Phyllis is still inside. She's too scared to move. Come on, Mom! I can't look! I'm too frightened! <laughs> Keep her steady, Penny. I'm going in. I'll try, Sam! Keep calm. I've almost got you, Dillis. Hurry, Sam! Ah. No. Oh. Come on, Dillis. Quickly! Ah. Wire cutters! Stand back, everyone! Sam! My boss! <sighs> Just another day in Ponty Pandy. <laughs> the builders haven't quite finished. And I've still got a lot of paint to do. But don't worry, Sam. It'll all be ready in time for the big opening. Excellent news, Mike. But I hope you're being careful. A building site can be a very dangerous place. Especially with all these gas canisters around. Don't you worry, Sam. Safety's my middle name. Well, I better get back to work. It will. Oh. Oh, oh no. Uh. Ah. Sorry, Sam. From now on, safety is definitely my middle name. Ow! Oh! Always wear a hard hat on sight, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> so, this is where it's gonna be. A wildlife exhibition by the wild men of Pony Pandy. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Bonza. Uh... We're gonna need a lot of photos if we're gonna fill all this space, mate. Well, you got your camera. I oh, know, but how are we gonna snap all the wildlife in Ponty Pandy? Well, it'll take months. Not now, we've got the Bobcat. The Bobcat? Oh, she's brilliant, mate. And she could go over land and on the water. Hop aboard! So, with your snapping and my driving, we'll have that exhibition ready in no time. Uh, mate, just one thing. Why is she called the Bobcat? Bobcats can't go over land and water. You're right, Tom. Uh, what about calling her the Catfish? Because a cat can go on land and a fish can go in water. <laughs> hey, catfish it is! Fire Captain Steele still trying to get the comm link working, Penny? Yes, Sam, but not much luck yet. Try giving it two turns to the left, Firefighter Morris. I'll have our emergency radio working in no time. Excuse? Me. Still writing that song, Elvis? Yes, Sam. I'm going to perform it at the grand opening of the new fire station. It's called Ponty Pandy Rock. <laughs> I'm sure it will be excellent, Elvis. Aha! There we go. And coming up after the next tune, we have the news and weather. Oh. Comlink's still not quite working yet, then, sir. No, Sam. Atmospheric. <clears throat> right. Let's get this map of Ponty Pandy up on the wall. Hello? Is this the Ponty Pandy restaurant and takeout? No, Dillis. It's Fire Captain Steele. Oh. Well, I'd like to order a pizza, please. We don't sell pizza. Well, that's not very good. My Norman wants to order a large pepperoni pizza. He is a large pepperoni pizza. Ridiculous thing. No, that won't work. Um... Oh! 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 Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Not your fault, Elvis. I think we might need a smaller map until we've got a bigger wall. No, Dallas. You can't have chicken chop suey either. Now, 
that's what I call a big fish. A potty panty carp. Just hold a steady, Moose. Uh, I'm trying, but the river keeps pulling us away. Uh, it swam round the front. Just to the left a bit. Yeah, yeah. Now, smile, you little beauty. Oh! <laughs> uh, don't worry, Tom. I'll save you, eh? Uh, got ya! You've got me, but who's got the catfish? Uh-oh. Whoa! What the grizzlies? I can't see! Uh, we're heading out to the ocean. Head to the beach, Moose. I'm trying, Tom, but the, the tide is too strong. Whoa, I think we're sinking. I thought this thing was supposed to float. It does, but these waves are a bit bigger than she's used to, eh? Well, I don't think the catfish is quite the right name for her. You're right there, Tom. Oh, what are we going to do? Call it something else? No. Better call Fyman and Sam. Hmm. Moose and Tom have been swept out to sea in a car that can float. Sam. We're going to need all three boats from the Ocean Rescue Center. With Tom out to sea, we won't be able to use the helicopter to search for them. Roger that, Sam. I hope Fireman Sam finds us soon. Uh, we've lost sight of the shore now. Keep bailing, mate. Keep bailing. <laughs> uh, look! I think that's Fireman Sam. I found them! Head north! Repeat, head north and look for my flare! Roger that, Sam! Just hang on, boys. We'll have you back on dry land in no time. I'm sorry, Sam. I need to get a bit better at driving the catfish before we try and get any more photos for our exhibition. I think that's a good idea. Never hurts to practice somewhere safe first, Moose. I will, Sam. I've just had a great idea. Do you know what we could call it, Moose? What? The duck-billed platypus. A duck-billed pity, but what do we puss? Um, okay. Let's head back to shore. I wonder how many more emergencies there'll be before we move into our new fire station, Sam. Who knows, Elvis? Who knows?
done and done. Perfect. Ready for the grand opening. Captain Steele, I can't believe that Ponty Pandy has a new fire station. I bet you're really excited. Oh, yes, well, I am, Dillis. Very excited indeed. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> well, there's a place I know where the people say hello as walk on down the street. It's a friendly space where you know the face of every single one you meet. Let's rock, rock, a Ponty Pandy, rock, rock. for the grand opening. It is with great honor and privilege that I, the esteemed fire department chief boys, now declare Party Pandy's new fire station open. Thank you, everyone. Now help yourselves to Broadwind's fine buffet while I show the firefighters their new home. As you can see, you can now park all of your fire vehicles in the station. Ooh, look! Mercury's inside now! There's even room for two more. Well, you never know when you might want to expand. Ooh, ooh! Look! This station doesn't just have one pole, it has two! We can slide down at the same time, Benny. Two poles seem a bit much for just us four. Uh-huh. That's because I have a very special surprise lined up for you. Firefighter Arnold McKinley. <laughs> and Firefighter Ellie Phillips. The new members of the Ponty Pandy Fire Service. They have just finished their training at the Newtown Academy where they were top of their class. Excellent. Wow. A four-wheel drive, longitudinal front engine, six-cylinder, high compression, turbo diesel. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of that. I don't understand a word he just said, Sam. He's talking about Jupiter, Elvis. Oh. I'm looking forward to learning from the best. Fireman Sam. Why, thank you, Arnold. <laughs> Teacher's pet. Now for the rest of the tour. Oh, <laughs> with these additional fire hydrants, you'll be able to fill up Jupiter and Venus faster than ever before. And you can use them when you're training at the training tower. There's even room for sticky foam. Ooh, I love sticky foam. <laughs> Don't worry, Elvis. It'll all take a bit of getting used to. <clears throat> now on to the control room. Cradlington, will you please stop squishing? I'm sorry, sir. I can't help it. I got my pants all wet. This is your new, all-computerized control system. Watch this. Plenty Pandy, overview. Who said that? It was the screen, Cradlington. And you can zoom in to see more details. Plenty Pandy Docks. The Whole Fish Cafe. Ooh, oh, that is really awesome! It's only a built-in intelligent assistant high-speed processor that speaks natural language voice commands. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little more complicated than the old fax machine. Right. I need to get back to Newtown. Good luck getting to know each other. And getting to know your new fire station. <laughs> Hey, 
It's so great to have another girl on the team, Ellie. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. I can't wait to get started. What's that helmet for? Tomorrow's my day off, so I'm taking the kids exploring in some of the caves and mines in the mountains. <gasps> I've never been out caving. Well, next time we have a day off together, let's do it. You're on. Couldn't have a new fire station without the old bell. Or the old picture. Right. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? The Cut Price Shop. Oh, my. That is something. Initiate emergency procedure for the Cut Price Shop. What? Oh, no, no, don't! Emergency rerouted to the Whole Fish Cafe. What? I, I, I never mentioned the Whole Fish Cafe. Window cleaning initiated. What? I, I don't want any windows cleaned. Now stop! Stop this now! I'm sorry. I do not understand that command. Stop, I tell you! Oh, dear. <laughs> there. Oh, thank you, Sam. That thing wouldn't stop talking at me. What did you do? I deactivated the voice mechanism, sir. You might want to read this. What is it? The instruction manual, sir. What? Oh, well, it's a, a very big. Uh, thank you for purchasing the map screen 700. If you follow the instructions carefully. The swallows are swooping close to the ground. A storm must be on the way. I wouldn't take too much notice of those, Charlie. There was a storm on the Ocean Rescue Center radar, but it was a long way out to sea. It'll probably pass us by. Not according to the swallows. Right. We should get back to the mainland before it gets too dark. We can come back and put up the safety notices in the morning. Okay, Charlie. James, it'll be really fun. We're going to be going through some actual old gold mines. And I bet I can find actual gold! In your dreams, Norman Price. I can find gold. Hello, Granddad. Hello, Nipper. Hello, you all. Bit windy today, Penny. That won't bother us, Gareth. We'll be in the caves. Finding gold! Oh, we better get on our way then. Now, we have three types of fire to be extinguished. Elvis, can you demonstrate which extinguishers to use? Yes, Sam! Fire one, liquid fire. Ah. Oh, don't come back! Oh, no! Oh, stop! Stop rolling away! Oh, 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 oh. I wouldn't want to be in an emergency situation with him. Stop for a minute, Charlie. It's not quite in yet, Ben. Ugh. No. It's been really windy all day, but feel how still it is now. Strangely still. Hmm. Look, Charlie. The sky in the distance. Those swallows you saw yesterday might have been right. It does look like a storm's coming. Please try and stay still. Whoa! Well, I got the perfect picture. Really? Yeah, if we wanted a picture of an empty branch. Sorry, Tom. Still getting used to the controls, eh? Show me the photos we got. We must have some good ones. Hmm. 
I can't say this is going to be the best wildlife exhibition Pony Pandy has ever seen. No. It's really beginning to whip up. I'll find out what's happening. This is the Ponty Pandy Coast Guard calling the National Weather Center. Do you read me? Over. At last, we've been trying to get a hold of you, but we haven't been able to get through. We've been tracking a storm in your area, and we're upgrading it. You'll need to follow emergency procedures. Prepare for a hurricane. A hurricane? We need to tell Fireman Sam. That was Ben. There's a hurricane heading for Ponty Pandy, and it's a big one. We're going to need all the firefighter power we have. Where's Firefighter Morris? She was taking some of the kids out caving near the Mountain Activity Center. I'll try to catch her before she goes in. Well, there's a river under those mines. They flood really easily. Come in, Penny. Come in, Penny. Come in, Penny. Do you read me? She must be in the mines already. I'll try Moose. And I'll round up the other firefighters. Come in, Moose. Are you there, Moose? Over. Oh, I can barely hold my camera still in this wind. Can you try and keep her steady, Moose? It couldn't be more steady. Whoa. Sorry, Tom. I'll be heading up into the mountains to make sure the kids are safe and bring Penny back to town. In the meantime, Elvis, you will be in charge of Arnold and Ellie. You'll need to prepare Ponty Pandy for the hurricane. Roger that, Sam. S Sam? If this hurricane is as bad as it looks, we'll need you and Penny back here as soon as possible. I know, sir. I'll be as fast as I can. them from. Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, they're in Jupiter's lockers. Elvis! I heard there was a hurricane heading this way. What can I do to help? Ah, here's what. Um, you need to go door to door telling everyone that a hurricane is coming. Tell everyone to bottle up as much water as they can in case they get cut off. All right, Elvis. So this used to be the old gold mine, and the miners would go through that tunnel. I can't see any gold. If there was still gold down here, Norman, they wouldn't have closed it down. Uh, there must be some gold that's been left behind. Forget the photos and get back to the center, mate, before the trees start coming down. Don't worry, Tom. The Natterjack Toad will get us back in no time, eh? What's the Natterjack Toad? I'm trying out new names for the amphibious vehicle. The Turtle. Drive! I think I quite like the Natterjack Toad.
Now those are stalactites, and those are stalactites. They look very pointy. Why is there so much water trickling down the walls? A lot of old mines have underground rivers, Sarah. Honey! Oh. Honey! Honey! That sounds like Fireman Sam! It does! Fireman Sam! Sam! What are you doing here? There's a hurricane heading for Ponty Pandy, and I need to get you all to safety before the mines flood. Flood? Now don't panic, kids. We'll all be fine. But we need to move quite quickly. Okay, everyone, we need to follow Fireman Sam. Let's go. Look, we're almost there. Now, it's going to be very stormy when we get out there. But once we get to the Mountain Activity Center, we'll all be safe and sound. Whoa, stay back. There's been a landslide. We can't get out! Now what are we gonna do? Is there another way out, Penny? Huh? Uh, yes. We can take the old miner's route. But we'll have to go down before we can go up. Well, let's go then. Lead the way, Penny. Oh, a gold miner's route! I bet there will be lots of gold down there. We'll soon be back at the Mountain Activity Center. Ugh. I hope everyone in Potty Pandy is okay. If the rivers are this high, the water must be going somewhere. Hello? Mrs. Price? I'm Firefighter Phillips. Are you okay? No. My cream puffs are floating away. <sighs> You look a bit flooded. Let me take you back to the new fire station where you'll be warm and dry. Oh, thank goodness for that. Crindlington? Are you there? Come in, Crindlington. Yes, sir. I'm here. Oh, well. I've had three emergency calls. One from Mike Flood, one from Lizzie Sparks, and one from Trevor Evans. I'll get to them as fast as I can, sir, but the roads are really flooded. If only Fireman Sam and Penny were here. So we just keep following the path downwards and... Oh, no. There isn't a path! It's flooded. Well, we can't go back. That way's blocked. But we can't go forward either. It doesn't look far to the other side. The path just dips down and then comes up again. All of you stay here. I'll go and check that the other side is clear. Be careful, Sam. I will. Listen, everybody. If we swim under here, we can get back on the path. It's not very far. Really? Really. Now, you're all good swimmers. You just have to take a big, deep breath and follow Penny through. Now, deep breaths, everyone. <gasps> Come on, James. We need to go. I'm... I'm... too scared. Aw, oh, don't worry, James. All you have to do is hold on to me, and we can do it together. Uh, okay, Uncle Sam. Yeah. Now, take a deep breath, and we'll be out in no time. I'm sure he won't be long, Sarah. <gasps> the water's getting higher. All right, I know we're all wet, but we need to keep going. Ellie 
to come back with Venus. We'll need a line. We can't wait for that. We have to. No, come back. Hold on, Lily. We really need to wait for Venus. We've got to secure the car and make sure the firefighters are attached to a line. I'm here to rescue people, Elvis, not wait around all day. I got you, but I can't hold on for long. Help! Oh, no! The old miner's route goes this way. <gasps> Oh, goodness. Wow! A bridge! Norman! <laughs> don't do anything until we've checked that it's safe first. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I thought I saw gold. I'll check it, Sam. I'm lighter than you. Now, one by one, hold on to the rope and walk carefully over the bridge. And try not to look down. Keep going, Sarah. That's it. Okay, come on, James. You were brave before. Now don't look down. Your turn, Mandy. Okay, Sam. That's it. Keep going. Ah! Oh, keep looking ahead, Mandy. Okay, fine, Sam. Well done. Good job, Mandy. Come on, Fireman Sam. I've got the rope, Sam. Stronger than you look, Benny. Oh, well, I did have some help. Oh, I never thought that one day I'd have to thank you all for rescuing me. <laughs> we better get going. Come on, we need to get back. Auntie Pandy needs us. I can't hold on much longer. Ellie, winch me back in when I've got them. This is Jack! Yeah. Ready, Ellie! Oh, oh Lily! Fire Captain Steele wants us to get everyone back to the new fire station. It's the safest place in Ponty Pandy. Roger that, Ellie. Thanks, Elvis. I'm sorry I put myself into danger. I was wrong. You really do know what you're doing. Well, I've learned from the best. Fireman Sam. I hope Sarah and James are all right. 
Don't worry. They'll be fine, hun. They're with Penny. Oh, oh, we should leave, really. We can't. The conditions are far too dangerous out there. What's that? Elvis! I've come to take you all to the new fire station. Will Sarah and James know where we are? Don't worry. We'll let Penny know. Fireman Sam has gone to get them. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Come on. I'll get you to the new fire station. I need my chair. Don't worry. There's plenty of room in the back. Good work, team. We need to bring everyone back to the new fire station as quickly as possible. I wonder what's keeping Sam and Penny. Are we going to be up soon? I hope so. The water's nearly up to my undies. We'll be out in no time. Don't worry. Just round this corner, there should be an exit. There's the way out! But how do we get up there? Well, there should be a wooden walkway. Uh, where is it? Looks like all the wood has rotted. It's filling up with water in here. It's all right. Keep calm, everyone. We need to find a way to make a ladder. like a ladder. You're right. Well done, James. That's our ladder. We need something to loosen these bolts. There's an old toolbox over there. You're right, Norman. An old miner's toolbox. Gold. I'm scared. Me too. Don't worry, James. We'll be home soon. That should move now. You take the other end, Penny. <laughs> there. Come on, then. Fast as you can. Where's Norman? He was behind me just now. I'm going to be rich. Oh. Coming with me, Norman Price. No! Uh oh. Hurry, Sam. Mountain Activity Center. I wonder how they're doing in Ponty Panty. I'm sure Elvis and the team are doing fine, but we need to get back there as soon as we can. Big storm, Nipper. But don't you worry. <laughs> we'll be all right. Close. Sure, you've got a blanket. You all need to keep warm and dry. There. I hope everyone's got some cocoa or some tea now. 
Trevor? Oh, 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 I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> Easy there, Dillis. It's like the whole of Potty Panty's in here. Ah, oh, Cridlington, there you are. I hear from Mrs. Chen that you were a real hero out there today. Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> Firefighter Crittlington was amazing, sir. You've all been amazing. A credit to the fire service. Fire Captain Steele, we don't know where Joe is. I'll get down to the control room and see what I can find out. Okay, come on. God damn. Oh, okay. Right there. There we go. There's a fire at Joe Sparks' garage. There's a fire at Joe Sparks' garage! Ooh! We need to put that fire out and get Joe back to safety. With all this gas and oil around, this is a job for Sticky Foam. Roger that, Elvis. Arnold, you make sure Joe is a safe distance away. Right, Elvis. Come on, Joe. I think that one was supposed to be a rabbit. I'm telling you, I had gold in my hand. You are making things up again, Norman. What the grizzlies? Tom, Moose, so glad to see you. Cool, you guys are soaked. Do you want some cocoa? Yeah. Yes, yes, please. Not as much as gold. Penny and I need to get back to Ponty Pandy. Listen, kids, you stay here with Moose and Tom till the storm clears. What about our moms and dads? They'll be fine, but we need to let them know that you're okay. It's too dangerous for you to go out in this at the moment. Come in, Fire Captain Steele. Over. Fire Captain Steele, come in. Fire Captain Steele, can you hear me? Fireman Sam? I'm with Penny and the children. They're all safe, and I'll bring Penny back down on Bessie. Sorry, Sam, you can't. Gara saw a big pole blown across the line. There's no way down by rail. Repeat, there's no way down by rail. Okay, sir. Understood. Out. Now what are we gonna do? I don't know. We have to find a way down somehow. I know how you can get down. What are those, Moose? The keys to the Natterjack Toad. He, he means the duckbill platypus. The what? The amphibious vehicle. Careful. She's a bit hard to handle, Sam. But uh, you can do it. Good luck! How's it going, Cridlington? Fireman Sam and Penny are on their way. Let's hope nothing else happens before they get here. <sighs> Great tangled hoses. Ridlington, you need to come straight back to the station. We have a fire right outside. And it's heading for the gas canisters. If the fire reaches them, they'll explode. We'll get there as fast as we can, sir.
are we gonna do? Jupiter will never squeeze past this. But Venus will. But we can only fit two in the four-wheel drive flatbed vehicle. Does he mean Venus? Yes, Elvis. Okay, you two go ahead in Venus. I'll make sure Joe gets safely to the station. No, Elvis. They'll need you at the fire. I'll look after Joe. Okay, Ellie. Arnold, let's go. <laughs> Close and keep moving. Let's go, Joe. Right you are, Ellie. I'll get another fire extinguisher. You two are quite the team. Too big for just Venus, sir. And it's spreading towards those gas canisters. What are we going to do? Those canisters contain liquid petroleum gas. If they explode, they'll destroy the whole fire station. We'd better evacuate everyone. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon. isn't looking too good. What can I do to help, sir? We need to get everyone a safe distance away. Come on, everyone. Follow me. I can't stop the fire. What are we going to do? We might have to abandon it completely. Huh? It's Fireman Sam and Penny. We need to cool off those gas canisters and get that fire out. We're gonna need a lot of water and fast. But where can we get it from without Jupiter? Maybe our new fire station can save the day. I bet those training hoses will reach from the extra mains outlets. Uh, keep spraying the gas canisters, Elvis. I'll be back as soon as I can. Pandy survived the hurricane. Thanks to the new fire station. It's the best fire station in the world. <laughs> ah, fresh air. And no swallows. Ah! 
Don't worry, Dillis. It'll be done in no time. Oh, it looks marvelous. <laughs> Trevor! Oh, nice new bus. Would you like to take a ride, Dillis? Ooh, yes. As long as we don't go near any cliffs. Take a look at this. Even better than it was before. And now, with the new, improved Doromatic 2000. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Painted your natter jack platypus. Yeah. <sighs> I'm giving her to you, Sam. That's very generous of you. Are you sure, Moose? Of course. I think I prefer to hike around the forest, eh? <laughs> then thank you, Moose. You'll need a new name for it, though. What about Hydrus? It's a group of stars, and it means water snake. That's awesome. I love it. What a clever idea. I don't understand a single thing he said, Sam. Don't worry, Elvis. I'll explain it to you later. Well, that's settled then. Hydrus it is. Now, back to work, everyone. You know, I like our new fire station even more than the old one. <laughs> so do I, Elvis. So do I. Credlington, how about a cup of coffee? Coming, sir. 